guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous 40. Today my video is going to be about another foundation and this is going along with the whole finding that perfect foundation series that I've been doing. Um, well, the perfect foundation for me series that I've been doing. And the foundation that I'm talking about today is the Clinique Super Balanced Silk Makeup with Broad Spectrum SPF 15, this little guy right here, and I have them in the sample size. And I'll explain why I have the sample size here in just a second, but let me give you a little bit of history or background with me and Clinique is I have for many years absolutely loved Clinique products. Not all of them, but most of them. I use a variety of their skincare products, which has really, really been phenomenal um, for my skincare routine and has really helped keep my acne at bay. Um, I, one of my all-time favorite foundations that I've been using from them is the Clinique Even Better Foundation, which I absolutely love that. Uh, I like the Clinique Chubby in the Nude, which I have a review on that one, which I'll link down below. And I like that one as well. I also use Clinique concealers. I mean, I, I really, really have had just a love relationship with a lot of Clinique products. Now, I have the sample size of the Super Balanced Silk Makeup. And the reason why I have the sample size and not the full size is, well, because in the past I have tried the original Super Balanced Makeup and I wasn't a huge fan of that one. So I didn't want to buy the Super Balanced Silk in the full size. I kind of wanted to try it, but I wasn't really thrilled about trying it. And then last week I went and I purchased one of my custom smart repair serums and they had at Dillard's the little free gift when you spend, what was it, $28, you got a seven piece free gift. And this was a part of my free gift. Now this one came in the color Silk Suede and I think there was like three or four different choices of foundation colors to pick from for the free gift. So I chose the one in Silk Suede and it seems to, the color seems to actually fit me pretty well. So um, it was a pretty decent color selection there. But anyway, so because I got the um, sample sized in one of their free little gift set things, I decided I'd go ahead and try it and make a video about it and let you guys know what my thoughts were on this makeup. So let me read you guys a little bit about what Clinique says about this makeup. And again, like I said, this is the Super Balanced Silk Makeup with Broad SPF 15. Okay, so this makeup comes in one ounce and it costs 25 US dollars. It looks like it comes in 20 shades. So the, tw the shade range is actually really, really nice. It starts from the lightest shade, which is Silk Porcelain, which is really kind of a vanilla, I wanna say peachy, really, really fair, all the way to a Silk Cocoa, which is a really, really deep, rich, intense color. So 20 shades. I'm kind of in the middle. I'm um, suede, Silk Suede is the color that I'm in. All right, so Clinique says, what is it? <laughs> it's a slip-on silk enriched makeup, feel naked yet covered to perfection. Control oil yet hydrate where needed. Protect with SPF, it's oil free, it has sheer to moderate coverage, and it has a natural matte finish, ideal for dry combination to oily skin types. So basically it's saying that it's good for all skin types is what I'm hearing from this. And it's oil free, which is really, really nice, especially if you have sensitive skin that breaks out or is prone to break out like mine is. I have dry skin, but yet very sensitive at the same time, so I do break out very easily, so the oil free is, is nice for me. Um, sheer to moderate coverage, which means it goes on very, very sheer and then can be built up to a moderate to immediate, according to Clinique. Um, and it says that it is a natural matte finish, but yet very natural feeling. Um, it also says that it hydrates where needed and then controls oil where needed. So that's kind of nice to me. Now, that's one of the things that really kind of triggered me to try this was the fact that it says that it's hydrating where needed, but yet controls oil in other areas, which reminds me of one of my favorite cleansers that I use. One of the cleansers that I use from Origins, the Checks and Balances, is supposed to do the same exact thing. It controls oil where needed and hydrates where needed, so you never feel dry and stripped. All right, well, this stuff, the little sample size that I got, I went ahead and I gave it a shot now, and this, I've been wearing it now for actually all week long, I have been wearing this, and it has been six days, yeah, 
it's been about six or seven days, I guess, that I've been wearing this like every single day. I have applied it in many, many different methods. I've used a sponge application. I have used different brushes to apply. I have applied it with primer, without primer. And I've even applied it where I have mixed a little bit of the Smashbox primer oil in with it and then applied it. And, you know, I've got to tell you guys, so far, I really, really, really am liking this foundation. All right, in my opinion, this foundation to me feels very light. I don't feel it on the skin. I feel that it blends very easily, very nicely. Um, I feel that the sheer to moderate coverage is a good claim. It's not full coverage by any means, so don't go into this makeup thinking that you're going to get a full coverage application because you're not. Now, my first layer is, I would say, a pretty, I'm not going to say sheer sheer, but it is a light coverage and I can build it up to medium, which I have it built up to medium today. and. You can see some of my hyperpigmentation still actually shows through just a little bit, but it's not bad. I can deal with it. I mean, I have hyperpigmentation. There's just, it's all over my face. And unless I want to go around um, wearing a mask of makeup all the time, then, you know, just a little bit, a little bit of it's always going to show through. Anyway, the application I did with it today is I went ahead and I, I applied my primer and I let my primer sink in for a few minutes and then I went in with the makeup. I just kind of smeared it a little bit all over my face and then I took my Moda paddle brush and I blended that all in and I made sure that it was nicely blended. Um, I also really like the results I get from it when I apply just with a beauty blender not using a brush. I love the results I get with it when I mix a little bit of the uh, Smashbox primer oil into the foundation and blend it in. It's a little bit more of a sheer coverage but looks more natural and I really like that application. Um, as far as the matte finish goes, it's not like really, really matte, if that makes sense. It's kind of, oh, not completely matte, but it's not dewy either. Maybe it's kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? What would be like in between matte and dewy? Not maybe satin finish, I guess. You don't, once you apply it on the skin, it doesn't look like powdery matte but it doesn't, it's not like the Clinique Even Better that's really dewy and never really sets down and feels a little bit sticky, which that doesn't bother me. This one, it actually does set and it does actually feel like it's dried down on the skin. It's not going to move once it's set. I don't use the powder with it, but then again, it doesn't feel drying either and it doesn't look drying and it doesn't look completely matte. Um, like I said, I definitely don't wear a powder, but after I apply, I go ahead and I do my concealer under my eyes and I do some concealer in other areas that I need it. Like I have a burn mark like right up here on my forehead right now <laughs> where I burnt myself with my straightener. And you know, I used a little bit of concealer up there and yeah, I powdered that in a little bit because the foundation didn't completely cover that. But um, I don't feel that I have to set it with powder, which is great because I'm not a powder girl. I don't like to use powder unless I have to. Um, I did um, use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus over it, and yeah, I'm really, really liking the way it looks. And like I said, I don't feel it on the face. I love the fact that it's got the SPF in it, which is nice for wearing it during the day. Also, the wear time on, on this, I feel, has been really, really good. Like I said, I've worn it all week. I've worn it all different ways. And I don't feel that it's seeped into the lines and wrinkles at all. It covers the pores amazingly. I don't feel like, and I'm sitting here looking in the mirror right now, which is why I'm looking down. I don't really see my pores per se. And with a lot of foundations, pores, because I have big pores, they tend to stand out. Well, they're not standing out. The makeup's not seeping into them. I don't really see them as much as I normally would, which is nice. And I'm just all around really liking this foundation, guys. I really am. And the wear time on it, it has lasted me all day. It has lasted me all day through a work day and then going to work out afterwards. I have sweat and come home and my makeup is still on. Now, granted, it doesn't look as perfect as it did when I first applied it in the morning, of course. I mean, that's to be expected after eight or nine hours. But it was still there and it still looked really good. When it does start to... One of the things I've noticed is 
when it does start to wear a little bit, um, I would say probably within the seven or eight hour mark right before I go to work out, I'll notice that it started to wear, but it doesn't wear patchy. It wears very evenly. So you really can't tell where it's wearing off versus where it's not. I mean, it just kind of all just blends in very simply and easily. It never makes my face feel greasy. And all around, guys, I'm just really, really liking this. So I would have to say that this one is going to be right up there with my Clinique Even Better, which is like one of my all-time favorites. Now, my Clinique Even Better, I wear it more so in the evenings if I'm going out somewhere because I do want that more dewy look if I'm going out in the evenings, but I'm really liking this one for daytime wear. I'm really liking it. I don't know how many more times I can say that. So I think I'm going to actually go and get the full size of this guy because, I mean, he's just, he's really impressing me. And yeah, I mean, I just don't have enough good things to say about him. Now, some of you guys might have already tried this. You might not have the same opinion I do, um, but just so you guys know, my skin is very dry in patches and oily in patches, so I'm kind of combination more on the dry side all over. Now, when the weather starts getting more hot, I'll be more oily, but right now, being dry combo, this is actually working really, really well for me. So, like I said, you might not have the same experience I do just based on whatever your skin type is, but based on my skin type, I'm having a great experience with this guy. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really loving it. Okay, guys, so those are my thoughts and my opinions on the Clinique Super Balanced Silk Makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also, guys, let me know down below. Leave comments down below if you guys have tried this and what your thoughts were on it. Because like I said, everybody's skin type's a little different. Everybody has different opinions on foundations. It's very, uh, such a very um, personal thing, I guess. So let me know, guys, how you enjoyed it if you tried it. Just let me know down there. Also, guys, you can look me up on my website at www.rockfabulousonline.com. You can look me up on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, all under rockfabulous40s. And guys, hit subscribe down there somewhere and you too can rock your fabulous 40s and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.